You have just tuned in with Cars with a Curve show. I'm Galen, your host, and uh, I have no co-host. So it's just me today. And we're going to delve into more cars, and this time it's going to go a little different route today. We're going to deal with uh, auctions. Uh, first off, it'll be a Tuesday afternoon, which just passed, uh, at the Barrett-Jackson auction, and we're going to show you some results of these cars and not so much of a car <laughs> and the first one we're going to show you this is uh the auction is taking place out in scottsdale arizona as we speak right now so i'm going to go backwards go to tuesday and and work my way to wednesday thursday friday and saturday so today's saturday so i'm going to back up here a ways and and uh, show you the results, like I was saying, and you'll find out real quick what cars are going for, the price and all. So let's take a look. Now, as you will see, this is not actually a car. This is called a Clark Cat luggage tug, 1975. Now, if you're on your way to Europe and you've got a lot of luggage, this is the perfect thing to buy to haul your luggage to the airport and get it on the plane. And this is, uh, uh, it's unreal. It's like how many times do you get to have your own luggage cart, private luggage cart, just for all your luggage? Uh, mostly it's your wife's luggage. That I do know. <laughs> So this one sold for six thousand six hundred bucks, and there is no reserve prices on these vehicles that I'm showing you. Okay. Okay. Now that we've got that tug, your luggage out of the way, your private tugger. So now let's move on to some cars. We have a 2001 Jaguar. XK8 convertible. And what do you think it sold for? What's your guess? I'm going to show you a few pictures here and I'm going to let you guess and see what you think. Okay, here's the Jaguar. Take a look at it. It's black, it's beautiful, it's convertible. And uh, did you guess the price yet? Okay, I'm fixing to give you the price $9,570 it sold for. And it's a really clean car, you know. Uh, mileage, let's check on the mileage here. Now, on the Jag Jaguar, as we call it in Texas, and over in England, they call it Jaguar. They have their different accents over there, but we have our accents here too, you know. So it did not show any mileage, but it's like, uh, now that's your run of the mill Jaguar, and now I'm going to show you another car. Uh, it's a custom-built dwarf car. You ever heard of a custom-built dwarf car? Oh, I'm fixing to show you one right here. I don't think you're going to have to be a dwarf to get inside this car, but it is small, tiny, and I'm kind of big, and I don't know if I'll even fit into it. So let's take a look. Okay, here's your dwarf car right here. Look at it. It is a neat car. It's a 1940 custom-built dwarf car. Like I said, you don't have to be a dwarf to get inside this car. Uh, now, as you see the different photos right here going on, uh, the engine is a uh, 1998 Kawasaki 900cc engine with a five-speed. As you notice, there's only one seat in the car. And it's like, okay, forget about bringing your girlfriend, your mistress, your wife, she can't go along <laughs> unless she lays down on the passenger side. Okay, enough about the dwarf car. Okay, did you guess the price of the dwarf car? Okay, I'm coming at you right now with a price. 19250 bucks. Can you believe that? Stripped down, no carpet, no passenger seat. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I want it for that kind of price, but hey, you might, but I tell you what, we're moving on to another car. And this one 
Oh, let's see what we got here. We got a 1966 Ford Thunderbird Landau hardtop. Landau. Uh, there was an actor called Landau, close to that, I think, something like this. So let's take a look at this Thunderbird here. Okay, here it is, Red T-Bird. And now you see it. Okay, it's automatic transmission, two-door hardtop. And it has a 428 cubic inch engine in it. So it is not a muscle car. It's a heavy car and it will take you down the road. Take a wild guess what this car goes for. Okay. I'm going to get right with you. So think about the price. Think about it. Think about it. Okay. Did you get your price right in your head? What do you think it went for? $17,050. It could have been yours today. No, not today. Today's Saturday. How about Wednesday? <laughs> no, how about Tuesday? You are you are out of luck. You know that? So now we're moving on to the next car. Take a look. 1966 Ford Thunderbird. Try 17,050 smackers. And no sense whatsoever. Okay. I hope you were close. You're guessing right there. I tell you what, onward to the next car. Okay, now we have another car for you. It is a 1949 Crosley. I, I have never heard of this car, and I know more than likely 99% of you out there have never heard of a Crosley car. Well, I tell you what, it's small, it's tiny. I don't even know if I can fit in this car because it's so freaking small. <laughs> okay. Now this car, oh, I tell you what, let me just show you the car. Okay, here it is. Pictures of it right there, 1949 Crosley. And it's got a whopping 44 cubic inch engines. It has a whopping 44 cubic inch engine. As you saw the picture go by, we're talking about a dirty engine. Whew, why would you take a car to auction as dirty as it is? I mean, it's had a repaint job. So, okay, guess the price. I'm fixing to tell you the price, okay? Okay. You probably didn't guess the price at all, but I'm going to give you the price anyway. 3,850 smackers all day long. Okay, next car. I'm going to back up here a little bit. We're not going to go into the next car yet because the Crosley car, what I did not tell you, it has the original seats still in the car. It's a manual transmission, uh, I believe it's a three-speed, and uh, oh, it had OK delivery inspection tag, and uh, has the original delivery certificates also, and it has the original gauges, but they did have a recent paint job and new tires. After all those years, it better have some real tire, new tires because they would be dry rotted big time because you're not going to be driving around that car very much. Think about it. Okay, now to the next car. Okay, let's try a 1981 Porsche 928. And uh, it is in excellent condition. And, uh, oh, well, I wouldn't say excellent. I would, I would say pretty good condition at all. And... I tell you what, let's see some photos. Now, in 1981, I'm surprised that this car sold with automatic transmission because I would have had a stick shift in there. Some one, one, one way or the other, but look at the engines. It's kind of a, you know, it's okay looking, but it wasn't fantastic or great or anything like that. Uh, so let you guess the price. Guess it. Oh, Okay, now moving on to another car. And what we have now is a 1957 Ford Fairlane 500. I don't understand where the 500 came from. I just don't understand. If you know, please give me a call and that way I'll know and I can tell all my viewers. Okay, this car has uh, autom it's a coupe. It's not a, a convertible or anything like that. It has a 312. You know what? Let's just go look at the car. Okay, now you're looking at the 57 Ford Coupe Fairlane 500, and um, it has a 312 
cubic inch engine. There it is, clean, 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 clean. So you know it went for pretty good money when the engine's like that. See the automatic uh, on the steering wheel right there for the automatic transmission, bench seats. Remember back years ago when you, uh, or some people way back that you could get to kiss your girlfriend because she got the bench seats, she could be next to you and all. Well, this is one of those cars. Okay, now what's the price? Let me, now that we are back, okay, what I did not tell you, it, ha it has the original sale price invoice with the car. And it's a Ford Omatic tinted windows heater signal seeking radio. Now, what the heck does that mean? Signal seeking radio. Okay, I guess it's seeking uh, wherever that radio station is at the time because you could be in between towns or something like that. But anyway, all right, the price. Price, 17600 bucks, And there it is. Onward to the next car. Now, moving on to the next car, we have a 1976 914 Targa Custom. Okay, this car is bright, bright, bright yellow. Take a look and see. Now these tar these Porsches back then had small engines, small CCs, like you know, this is two liter, and they're, they are not fast cars at all. Take a look. Okay, now that you see it is bright yellow, look at it, I mean, look at it close. I mean, it's like, there's the uh, front, of the car you open up there's no engine in the front as you see it's a luggage compartment and also it is a two liter has a two liter engine and the target top does come off so it's kind of cool looking but we're talking two liter engine man that's small 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 okay guess the price okay the price Ten thousand six hundred and seventy dollars. I know it's odd number and all, but hey. Okay, now the next car we're going to be talking about is a 1960 Go Go Mobile. Go Go Mobile. It's a lot. It's a lot of words right there. <laughs> TS 400. And uh, it's a neat little car. It's probably another little neat car that I can't get into. I'm just too broad across the shoulders and all. So let's take a look at this car and you can be surprised at the price it went for. Let's take a look. Okay, here it is, red with a black top, brand new paint job, brand new interior. Oh, look at the engine. Oh my, oh, it looks like it come out of the oven with two wires. <laughs> okay, there's the interior right there, which is, like I said, it's small, tiny. The, the steering wheel takes up all the room. You know, there's a side shot of it, and it's like, you can't get to, oh, look, suicide doors. Take a look. You know, 1960. All right, you're supposed to guess the price. What's the price now? I'm fixing to let you know. Okay, the price, 18,150 smackers. Ding, 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 ding. Somebody got some good money off that car. Now, onward to the next car. This time, it is not a car that you're going to look at. We're going to look at a motorcycle this time. Uh, and it's called a 1947 Whizzer Motor Bike. And it is in mint condition. Let's take a look. Hey, take a look at this Whizzer. It is a immaculate clean. It's a 100-point furbished bike and it used to when this was the first year that swin bike comes out and when swin, swin bike came out then wizard with their specifications put it to the swin bike this is kind of unusual and uh all right think about the price i'm fixing to give you the price think about it okay, okay with white wall tires this motorbike went for nine thousand nine hundred bucks i'm surprised it didn't go for more money than what it is but anyway onward to another car next is a 1956 hudson it's a model the model is a metropolitan and is convertible it's peach colored and uh white and uh we're talking another tiny car with a tiny 
tiny engine. <laughs> Let's take a look at the photos. Okay, here's photos of it. Pretty little car right here. Oh, look at there, tiny little engine. I mean, it just barely fits in there. Look at that. You know, and uh, bench seats, which I would need bench seats to, just to lay down just to get in the car. And look at this. Convertible. Oh, it's great. Awesome wheels. And uh, all right, let me know the price. It's, it's going to be big. Big, 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 big. This little four-cylinder engine, I'll tell you what, it went. For a price of 16,500 smackaroos. Onward to the next car. Okay, now we have a 1926 Ford Model T Custom Coupe. Now, if you don't remember what that looks like since you were not born in 1926, this one's custom. So, we have a different engine, we have different interior, we have everything different about this car, but it is a 1926 car, so let's take a look at the photos. Okay, here it is, Not the coupe, look at this, maroon colored, the rear end of it, it looks badass, I tell you that, you know, I tell you what, now, this car has a 327 cubic inch engine in it, and uh, it also has a power glide. See, look at the chrome engine and all. Isn't it gorgeous? And this went for big bucks. I mean, big bucks. Think big now. Okay, here we go. bucks. Okay, now, price. 50,600 smackaroos. I mean, big bucks for this car, but they did a lot of work on this car. Moving on to the next car. Oh. The red light coming. Yeah. Okay, what we have now is a 1972 Chevrolet K10 4x4 pickup truck. This is not your normal pickup truck. This, this was immaculately put together, the paint job, the interior, the motor, everything. Take a look at the photos. Okay, take a look at the interior here, bench seats like it is, uh, the full length of the truck right here. And what it's got, I mean, look at everything. It's immaculate condition. And let's go to the motor. We're going to go to the motor here now. You see the rear end of the truck, front. Okay, now the motor. Look how clean that engine is. It's a crate motor engine. It's a 350 crate with 330 horsepower. So, uh, what do you think? Did it go for a big price or do you think go for a medium price? All right, think about it. Drum roll, please. At the price of forty-two thousand nine hundred bucks, whoever owned that truck got a great price for that truck. <laughs> he did good. Onward to the next car. Okay, what we have now is a nineteen eighty-one Citroen two-cylinder roll top, and this is one ugly car. Ugly. You want to see? Let's take a look at the photos. Okay, here we are. There's a side shot of the Citroen. Here's a front and side. Ooh, talking about ugly, 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 ugly. <laughs> Two cylinder. Wow, take a look at this car. Made over in Europe and sent over here. And look, look at the engine right there. It's, you know, it, they got a decent engine in it, but it's like, uh, it, went, it went for good money. Another tiny car on the inside. You know, I might can fit in there uh, sideways. <laughs> All right, what's the price on this car? What's the price? Okay, before I give you the price, this car had a whopping 29 horsepower. Ding! <laughs> okay, since restoration, this whole car has been restored. It's got, got 7,000 miles on it and it cruises at 60 and 65 miles per hour. Top speed, 75. Man, that's zooming down the highway. <laughs> okay, price, price, here we go. 18,150 smackers. Onward to the next car. All right, now we have a Dodge Viper. I think they came out, yeah, the brand new in 1992 they came out. And so this is a 1994. It's a Roadster, and uh, it has 9,000 original miles in the car. And uh, it's a gorgeous car, gorgeous transmission. Take a look at the photos. 
Okay, here it is. If you like black vipers, okay, here's the engine right here. I'm immaculately clean, you know, only 9,000 miles. And it's a V10 engine, uh, 8 liter. Oh, man, big engine. I tell you that. It is fast. That's one fast car. So, give me a price. Think about a price. I'm fixing to give you a price. Okay, 40,700 smackers. Bam. I, yeah, I expected that kind of price out of a low mileage Viper like that. Onward to the next car. Okay, now moving on to our last car for Tuesday. Okay, we picked out some of the highlights of different cars. So this last one will be a 1977 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am T-Top. Now, I'm hoping everybody remembers T-Tops. They were globs and they were separate. Separate one for the passenger side. Okay, now this is in case you have the driver has an ejection button for the passenger side. <laughs> All right, let's try to take a look at some photos here. Okay, here it is, black, like the uh, from the movie. Uh, what was it? Up in smoke, smoking, Smoky Bandit, <laughs> Smoky and the Bandit, something like that. Okay, uh, now. This car, sh look at this ugly gold inside the interior, the dash. Oh, my God. I don't think, oh, oh, somebody may like that gaudy look with the whites. I just can't handle it, just can't handle it. Now, this is a low-mileage car, 33,000 miles on the car. You know, okay, take a guess at the price. This is an automatic car, and it has... Deluxe interior. <laughs> okay, the price. You're, you're, oh, it went off. Okay, this has automatic transmission and it has deluxe interior. <laughs> okay, the price. Forty-four thousand bucks. Now, this is the end of Tuesday results of the Barrett Jackson auction. This is not all the cars, but this is just some of the highlighted cars that I picked out for you to see. So, thank you for watching.